how many of you have noticed that uh, someone passes, and it might be even an older person who passed years ago that you knew, and then you've got a child or something, and a child starts getting sick, or even as a young adult starts getting sick, and they have very similar mannerisms to this person who's passed, who happened to get sick in the same way that this child's getting sick. You ever heard of that happening? Yeah. That happens quite a lot, right? And what we then go down to, well, are they the reincarnation of that person? But what's actually happening is the person who passed is now a spirit who has yet to really progress. And they are heavily overcloaking that individual, the person that's left on earth. And because the spirit who's passed still believes themselves to have the malady, the sickness, that malady also gets impressed upon the child. Now, I've seen this happen a lot with leukaemia. Almost all childhood sicknesses are the result of spirit attachments. And if they're not the result of spirit attachments, they're a result of parent emotions. Almost all childhood sicknesses. And really easy. You just talk to the spirit and get them to understand what they're doing. That they and most of the time they're not malevolent. They're not trying to do it. They just love the child, or they think they love the child. Like I had one with a great grandmother who was with a child who was three years of age, and she was in the spirit world. Child three on earth had leukemia. The great grandmother died of cancer. It was the grandmother's emotions being impressed on the child because obviously the lineage also had the same emotions. Impressed upon the child that caused the child to have the same illness. As soon as the grandmother stepped back, the child was cured. Uh, just by the grandmother stepping back, once she knew what she was doing, she stepped back and stepped away from the child and as a result, from an emotional perspective, stopped impressing all of these emotions upon the child and as a result the child was cured straight away. Same with cerebral palsy, you know, people who are, children who are very incapacitated. Are we talking uh, the same sort of thing there? Yeah, cerebral palsy and Down syndrome and those kind of things that result from uh, genetic imperfections generally are caused by emotional genetic imperfections in the lineage that need to be released. So that's, what, that's one instance where it's often not the spirit but actually genetic caused by emotional damage. So the key is to release the emotional damage and then the rest of the genealogy will not have that problem. Mm -hmm.